This is actually your waist. Let's say that you want to snatch your waist. I feel like people are gonna think that I'm a catfish. Oh, I also make my, my forehead smaller. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie. Today's video is going to be the long-awaited how I edit my Instagram pictures. Ever since I made the what's in my iPhone, that has been my most requested video. So today I'll be sharing with you guys step-by-step -step how I edit my selfies and outfit pictures and also how I keep my theme going on Instagram and why I think it's important to have one as well as sharing with you guys every single app that I use. So without further ado, let's jump right into it with the ambulance. Alright, so this is actually my third time filming this, I think, and every time I feel that it's not informative enough or I just don't like the footage. So we're just gonna roll with it and hopefully it's informative and helpful for you guys. Starting with my photography app, I have a little album here. First is the Camera Connect, which is to transfer my pictures from my Canon G7X. Then I have Unum, which is perfect for my OCD self, and basically what helps me keep track, or helps me better said, to keep my Instagram with the theme that I have going on, which is three in a row. So I basically... My theme is all three pictures have to be either from that same day or maybe the same color scheme or the center picture is the one that's not going to be the same as the two opposites. You're probably like, what, Natalie? Yes, I know. It just gives me sanity and I feel that it looks a lot better. By no means I'm saying that you have to follow the same theme, but having a theme, whatever it is, it could be a color scheme, it could be the filter that you have for it to all be the same. It just makes it more appealing and I just feel like it's nicer. For example, this row, it's two outfit pictures and then in the center, it's one me sitting. The other one is the same like color scheme from the same day. I probably sound crazy right now, but I like it. The way that I use it is I import the three pictures that I have in mind on uploading for that row because I don't technically upload them all the same day. That way they're like spread out, you know, just Instagram tricks. So for example, these three pictures right here, I upload them. And then I move around however I want to place them in my feed. I think that makes sense. It's just helpful for me to keep track on my Instagram feed. Then I have photo grid, which is to crop pictures however you want or how big you want them. I have Facetune, VSEO or Visco, Boomerang, Kira Kira, Snapseed, Play Memories, which is for my Sony followers, which is to know who follows and unfollows you. Huji, which is the new filter that everyone's using now looks something like this like really vintage looking it's nice but it's an extra app and then glitch which is to make pictures look glitchy i recently downloaded and i like it. on to what this video is all about which is the editing let's start with a selfie and the first app that i use is always face zoom because i just like to either enhance or blur whatever i want first and then move on to the filters or brightening aspects of the picture now this is what face zoom looks like i'm pretty sure many of you guys already know what it is and what it's for most people use it to make their booties bigger and enhance features in your face or body i quickly want to say that there's no problem on you wanting to enhance yourself or make yourself look a little bit better but the only thing that i do have to say about face soon is don't try to make yourself look like something that you're not or something that you don't look like in person because girl it's i've i've I know people, let's just say I've met people in person and they don't look nothing like what they do in their Instagram. And another thing, it's using it to the minimum. So don't enhance things drastically. Everything on in Facetune is all about zooming in and how precise you are. For example, let me show you guys a picture real quick, like a body picture and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to just click randomly this one. As you can see, that's what it looks like. So this feature right here, reshape, is the one that you can enhance your body. So you could either make yourself look thicker or skinnier. Let's say that I want to make my hips look like, like that. And then there you go. That's exhibit A on what not to do. The way that you do it is, if you do want to, is zoom in extremely, like all the way in, and then just slightly move your finger, like enhancing it. If you want your waist let's say that you want to snatch your waist I feel like people are gonna think I'm a catfish I do not edit my pictures like these all the time I'm just letting you guys know how people do it okay you're welcome so then there you go see before after before after it kind of looks another problem is always make sure that if you're going to do this or use this don't do it anywhere that there's lines like that right there because it just looks really obvious just avoid avoid this feature 
or just use it to the minimum don't go above and beyond anyways let's start with the selfie again go all the way to the top right corner so i'm going to be editing this one from my cardi b look that i did with title and all i did was basically blurred my face a little bit even though this picture did look a little bit blurry on its own and i was not happy about that but i'm gonna show you how i enhanced it a little bit more so i take the smoothing feature on the lightest option don't go above and beyond with this one either to be honest with you just slightly like touch wherever you want to blur or perfect any like fine lines any problem with makeup on my neck i go a little bit as well as my chest this one's good if you have pimples as well so then there you go before after before after now on the reshape you can also let's say for example enhance your lips if you want to not saying that you should but if you want to you can like slightly roll your finger and then make them look like you got lip injections that one i don't use because i don't have big lips to begin with and i feel like if i would use that one it's just it's obvious sometimes i do use the retouch for my brows because because i feel that they're not even all the time so i move it around a little bit just like a little bit or even for example your nose if you want to you could do something like that just kidding don't don't do that let's go back oh you could also just go back and i'm just going to leave the brow option oh i also make my my forehead smaller in some pictures but that's that's besides the point don't mind me the other feature that i use here is tones so i click on picker which is the second option down here and then i pick on let's say for example the lightest point in my chin so everything could be even this one's good to perfect your makeup a little bit if you want. Again, just tap, 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 not like drag. And then for my under eye, I'm going to choose like a lighter color to brighten my under eye just a little bit. And then for the colors, sometimes I can enhance the colors more if I want to on the tones. So I just press on tones, pick, let's say, for example, that hot pink and then just enhance it a little bit more i don't think i did that for the picture that i ended up uploading but just like zoom in the more zoom in you are the better and more precise it will be let's see like for the crease i want to make it more even and then last but not least i go on details and tap let's say on my lips if i have glossy lip like that one my highlights, my eyes, I definitely enhance it a lot more. My baby hairs, I enhance in this picture the little turban. And then just a tad on my face. That's it. And then that's basically the before and after. As you can see, not too drastic. Then I go on to Snapseed. That's basically my next app. I press on the plus, open last picture. I then press on tools. And the one the feature that I use here is selective which is to brighten or either make things more colorful in a way and then the brightening I just use it all the way if I want to then press the plus again put it somewhere else let's say that I want to make this yellow shirt brighter I swipe up and then I change brightness contrast saturation I put it on saturation and then enhance it a little bit like that see plus again let's put it on the turban and just make it brighter could also make my face a little lighter so that right there is a quick before and after of that picture then i go ahead and export that picture and next app is visco this one when i very first made this video i didn't have i didn't pay for the app but then my friend camilla encouraged me to pay for the app and i feel like it's totally worth it because the features and filters are a lot better when you pay for it there's endless of filters here these are the instagram famous like the ones that people on instagram have those amazing pictures that you see from your favorite instagrammers it's using this app one of my favorites is g4 so i go on g4 tone it down maybe to let's say 4.0 i don't always like to use a filter all the way because it's just too much it looks too obvious and i want to make it more normal i also use the white balance put the blue temperature ish just like to negative 0.3 and then the skin tone one i go plus eight let's say for example 
And then the last option that I use here, it's grain effect. This is what everyone uses now. And for this one, I always go below uh, 2.0. So I leave it maybe at 1.8, to be honest with you, because I don't like to take the quality out of the picture since I'm already using expensive camera. And then yeah, I just save it and that, my friends, is pretty much it. I then go to Unum if I want to or just go ahead and upload the picture on Instagram. Now, moving on to an outfit picture real quick. I want to show you how I delete people because I feel that that's a really cool feature with outfit pictures. I do that a lot to either cars or people that I don't like or even gum or just, just things that I don't like particularly like about the picture. I'm OCD, guys. I notice the smallest details and the smallest details ruin a picture for me sometimes, so that's why I get rid of them, okay? This one, for example, as you can see, is my friend's shadow right here. So I go on patch. There's two different circles here, one to copy and the other to paste whatever the other circle has. So, for example, we're going to just do that. This one is to copy and then the other one's to paste. Then I go ahead and do that all throughout. This does take time, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little annoying sometimes, and sometimes it doesn't come out perfect, but it's all trial and error, and it doesn't have to be perfect, to be honest with you. I mean, if it's not perfect, don't do it. TBH. Alright, I'm just going to leave it like that, to be honest with you, so that's the before, after, before, after. And then to fix that a little bit more, because it does show a tad that something went on there, I either go on smooth and then smooth it out with the smallest smooth and then slightly just tap 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 save that and then you could also use brightening brightening I used to use a lot to like whiten everything around me that's something that's another cool uh, theme that you could do just to keep everything white and crisp and the option for that it's the whitening one and then you just like use your finger to whiten I use that also sometimes to whiten your teeth if you want to or whiten things that are white like this one and then that my friends is how you delete a person and then and the last option that I would use for this picture because to be honest it doesn't need much is to enhance the background with the detail so I just drag my finger a little bit tap on my body to enhance the outfit then I go on snapseed and do the same thing go on tools selective maybe press on the floor enhance it make it brighter make this whiter Sometimes if your face is too dark, I also go on my face and make it brighter, as you can see right there. So before, after, before, after. This one is really cool. Then I just export the picture and go to Visco or VSEO. Then I can just choose whichever filter I like. The hardest part, to be honest with you, is finding the filter or the right filter. All right, I like C9 and then I just tone it down. A little bit and then you can make the grainy effect as well here before after before after safe and you're good I feel like I want to show you guys one more feature because I think this one really blew my mind away and it was so useful for that day because it was a cloudy day and it is this one okay so let's go back to face soon Oh, this is another feature that I do use for, for example, pictures like this that show my knee. I go ahead and smooth out my legs just a tad. Can you hear that? Oh. So I go on picker and then just choose a part of my leg and then tap on my knee because I feel like that part is so dark sometimes, especially for pictures. It's not that it looks like that in person, it's just I feel that in pictures. I have a little scar in here, so I'm going to go on the patch and patch that bad boy up ta-da gone before after before after i'm telling you guys then for this picture i went ahead and enhanced the leaves trees floor my dress a little bit and that was pretty much it that i did on face soon and i go back on snapseed this is where i was mind blown so upload latest picture go on tools selective so I went, as you can see, it was a really cloudy day. So I went ahead and pressed the B thing right here. So swipe up to saturation and enhance it all the way. And that's a before, after, before, after. 
I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. So this was a picture that I ended up uploading and as you can see, the sky looks a lot more bluer. But yeah, that was pretty much it on how I edit my Instagram pictures. Let me know in the comments below if it was helpful and which apps do you use or you recommend for me. Also, another side note just to avoid some comments, you don't have to edit your pictures exactly how I do it. I'm not saying that my way is the way to do it, but many of you guys have been asking on how I edit my Instagram pictures and I just wanted to share with you guys and hopefully this video is informative. Also, let me know how you like these videos and if you want to see more editing videos, like for example how I edit my highlights on my Instagram or anything similar to that, leave them in the comments below. But subscribe if you haven't done so already, give it a thumbs up, share with friends, and see you next time. Bye! We are going to excuse the fact that my bra keeps showing and that there's this going on in New York City. That's New York for ya. Oh! It was not recording. Great! So it was not recording. That this is why. This is why. And I have... Today's the day. When I tell you guys that I swear to God, there's no cops, no ambulances passing by when I'm not filming, and the second that I press the record button, I'm paciencia, señor.